Welcome back to Stompbox Breakdown. This is a pedal that has stood the test of time and then some. It's the Boss RV3 Digital Reverb Delay. I scored this pedal from an older touring musician who had like an entire music store in his basement, said he wanted to downsize and sell some stuff before moving and only ever really used like three pedals anyway. So I was just a kid in a candy store. And one of the pedals on his shelf was this RV3. And the only thing I knew about it at the time was that Johnny Buckland of Coldplay toured with one of these on his board for a while and rush of blood to the head Man, I'm just always finding something new in here that just gives me chills and inspires me. So this pedal definitely came home with me. And to be honest, it sat on the shelf for a while until I needed to put together a small pedal board for a new project I was working on. And I have my go-to delays and reverbs, but I thought, Here's my chance to try out this new pedal, save some space on that new board, and keep my other boards intact. But right away I realized there was something really special about the RV3. All right, the basics of this pedal are, it's a digital delay and reverb, came out in 94, ran until 2002, it's got up to two full seconds of delay, and it's got 11 modes, which you choose from the rightmost knob here. So you can choose from your delays, your reverbs, or your delay plus reverb, and thankfully it's one of those pedals that comes with a little guide sticker that you can slap on the side here thusly. It's also a stereo out pedal, and all of my playing in this video will be in stereo, just in case that's your thing. The first knob is your direct to effect mix, and in delay modes, the second knob sets the amount of feedback, and the third knob is where you set the exact amount of delay for your setting. So mode one is a very short delay, 32 to 125 milliseconds, and that's your basic doubling and slapback delay. Mode two is 125 to 500 milliseconds. That's your more standard rhythmic delay. And mode three is 500 milliseconds up to two full seconds. And I guess this is more for your dream pop, shoegaze, atmospheric type of stuff. Mm. 
Now let's talk numbers. This pedal is 32 kilohertz, 16 bit. So just slightly less than CD quality, which is 44.1 kilohertz and way less than the RV6, which is 96 kilohertz, 32 bit. And if I really squint my ears, I think I can hear just a little bit of softness around the edges on the RV3, though it doesn't sound like a poorly sampled 90s video game audio clip. Welcome to Stompbox Breakdown. But I think that softness comes from the compression and expanding more than the sample rate. I'm gonna skip ahead to the reverb modes now, and in modes eight through 11, you set the type of reverb you want, and in these modes, knob two changes over to a tone knob, so you can adjust the brightness or darkness of the reverberations, and knob three becomes your reverb amount. Let's run through the reverb modes. The first one is room one, and to me this sounds like it's just a little bit of air to keep things from sounding totally flat. Room two sounds like you're playing in a new apartment without any furniture in it. Hall is where you start to get echoes upon echoes, like playing in a church or a gymnasium. And plate is obviously what happens when you put a stack of plates in front of your amp and then mic them really close. Actually, I'm being told that plate echo is emulating an old studio method of sending sound waves through a giant plate of metal and picking that up with a type of piezo microphone. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense now that I think about it. Um, I'm gonna go put these back before my wife gets mad. And these reverbs sound great to me. They're not overdone. It's easy to find something quickly that sounds natural. There's no shimmer or modulation, just the most common types of reverb you'd likely find in a studio. But it's modes four through seven, the delay plus reverb, where this pedal becomes greater than the sum of its parts. These are the same four reverb modes we just looked at with delay added in. The reverb time and tone are preset here, so you can't adjust that because these two knobs go back to being feedback and delay time. But the range of delay now goes from 32 to 1000 milliseconds. And to me, mode seven is just wherever this is, I really want to go to there. I want to live there. It sounds like a nice place. If we open up the RV3, we can see, yep, there's a lot of chips in here. And if we look at the schematic, we can kind of see what's going on here. Signal comes in, it goes through some shaping, probably compressing it to fit safely into this analog to digital converter. Then it travels into this chip, which is probably where all the delay and reverb algorithms live. And that chip has a one megabyte DRAM chunk of memory attached to it. What I think is really interesting is how the pedal switch and all of the knobs except for the mix knob go into this 8-bit microprocessor, which interprets the settings and probably provides some additional logic for the rest of the board. It also means that this microprocessor can watch us click the pedal off, and instead of just powering down and cutting off abruptly, it can orchestrate a graceful trail off like this. Oh, that's just nice. Two things to be aware of though. One, on most modern delays, twisting the delay knob during playback does a little pitch shifty thing. This pedal doesn't do that. You get something like this.
Also, being old school digital, it is fairly susceptible to interference from other pedals and other nearby electronics. So keep your phone away from this one. The good outweighs the bad though, and these pedals do have a following. So if you see an RV3 for anything less than a ridiculously high amount, it's probably worth grabbing. They just don't make pedals this way anymore. And it hits on some sounds that are just really fun to explore and create with. Those little riffs for the clips in this video were like a 50-50 collaboration between me and this pedal. It did a lot of the heavy lifting. If you're in the market for a delay plus reverb pedal and you want something a little bit more modern, there's the Keeley Caverns, which does just about everything you can imagine. There's the RV6 that I mentioned earlier. It's just the modernized version of the RV3 and it has a bunch more modes. Um, this one's a bit of a stretch, but it's what I've been using a lot lately, the RE20 Space Echo. Oh, that stupid thing just makes me smile every time I look at it. Hey, that's probably going to be my last video of 2021. Going to take some time off and relax. I appreciate every single one of you. I've had so much fun researching these pedals, recording the videos, and watching this channel grow. And that's all you guys. And I can say guys because according to my YouTube analytics, it's literally just dudes. So hey guys, I wish nothing but the best for you, your friends, your bandmates, your family, everyone you hold dear. Stay safe, be careful out there, take care of one another, and I'll catch you next year on Stompbox Breakdown.